Hello, doctors. Welcome back to our FMG January 2024 recall session microbiology. So I what I heard from all the doctors is that this exam, especially from microbiological point of view, questions were moderate, not so difficult. It is answerable question. And why I put in all these fancy pictures, some microbiology clinical pictures and fancy pictures? Because this all were the questions which we have discussed in a previous almost 25 questions. In 25, directly 18 questions are like related to microbiology directly and other questions are like you know pharma related or maybe some medicine related psm related few questions like that so totally 25 questions microbiology or infectious disease properly okay so i'm glad that uh i'm I've see i've even all my videos you've seen that i try to make micro as easy as possible if you see my video you will understand that micro is one of the top five easiest subjects of, out of your 19 subjects I can confirm, affirm it, not just, you know, because I'm a MD microbiology doctor, I'm talking since my, uh, you know, UG, PG being an ex-FMG, also me too. I am now being, you know, uh, assistant professor microbiology, Sabdarjam. I know that micro is very easy, a very one of the easiest subjects. It's the way how you deal with it. If you take it, you study it in a funny manner, how I uh, teach, it's very, very one of the easiest subjects, believe me, okay? So now, uh, instead of uh, talking more, let's go and discuss the question. So see, don't feel bad if your answer is wrong or whatever. It happens with everyone. Most of the students, and even the uh, even the more, you know, the students who are very, uh, very intelligent also, sometimes, you know, the easy question, you make mistakes in this, so don't worry. You, you will do well. Your results will be positive. I pray for you. Uh, but also, it's your, you know, you have to know. Anyhow, you're going to, after this year, you're going to give your need PGs and uh, INACTs, all those things, okay? So let's discuss how, uh, you know, what are the uh, uh, the answers for all the questions. So let's start now. So the first one, uh, the uh, female patient with curdy white discharge, look at this, the female patient here, female patient, curdy white discharge. I will, I, I will not even read the question next because if there's curdy, there's only one curdy or cheesy white discharge, there's only one disease, that is your candidiasis. C4C, C4 candida. That's enough for me. That clue is more than enough for me. But on microscopy examination, it was given a pseudo hyphae. That's also another clue for pseudo hyphae. So if you see the fungal, if you see the fungal, there are three types. You know, this is yeast, this is yeast and, uh, you know, uh, yeast-like, we say yeast-like, and then the uh, mold, mold or hyphae. So what happened in yeast-like candida, you see this hyphae, this is called pseudo hyphae. It's not true hyphae. There's a budding yeast cells, with pseudo hyphae. When you see the bulging itself with a pseudo hyphae, that is candida. Okay. So this is a vulva vaginal candidiasis. The picture is not given in the exam, but you can see it's from um, previous videos. This white color curdy or cheesy discharge agiato, that is candidiasis. Okay. But what about other? In trichomonas vaginis, garner vaginis also causes vaginal discharge. These are three diseases that's causing vaginal discharge. Candida, C4C candida is done. What trichomonas? Trichomonas vaginalis, how to remember? I told Trisha likes green color vegetable. Trisha, tree, Trisha, Trisha like green color green color vegetable green color strawberry i told green color vegetables and strawberry 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 vagina we'll talk that and green color discharge why green because green vaginal discharge the discharge is green color that's a green vaginal discharge thin green vaginal discharge okay gardnerella vaginosis is bacterial what ba bacterial vaginosis costivore vaginosis here the discharge is what here the, we're going to talk about it it is very profuse profuse gray grayish white you know profuse gray white discharge or profuse discharge you can say not uh, like curdy type it's a profuse white discharge with what when you add a koh you'll get a fishy order that's the clue fishy order okay so now now also see almost you know three questions are related to vaginal discharge only you know so what is the next question see here now the so the answer for the previous question is candida okay so this is candida just mark here should be easy yeah candida is the answer these two are not okay next one a treatment of the male partner uh treatment of the male partner here yes treatment of the male and one more thing also previous question if you see pseudo hyphae means fungi it's a fungi you know even if you're not remembering this one easy clue pseudo is a fungi look at the other options trichomonas vaginalis is a parasite so it's a parasite so there is no link and gardner vaginis is a bacteria. So those are different. The organism itself is different. So you don't even, you know, if you forgot also, with this clue, you can directly put candidates. So definitely it's an easy question. No, so please don't say this was difficult. Okay. Uh, don't worry, you will you'll do well. So uh, next one. Ha, see this one. Treatment of male partner. So male partner, treatment for male partner is necessary for all STD infections. All STD infection, you have to treat the male partner should be treated. Now, means the partner, male or female, whoever gets the partner should be male or female. The partner should be treated in all STDs. No, they have to be treated. But there are a few exceptions. Let's go on order. Candidiasis. 
Candidacy can be treated? No, not necessarily candida always due to sex because candida can happen in what? Diabetic patient, HIV immunocompromised patient also we have candida. So a partner treatment is not mandatory. Let's come to trichomonas vaginalis. Bacterial vaginalis. In bacterial vaginosis, what happened? There are other conditions predisposing. Means what? What is the main condition here? Lactobacilli goes down. Lactobacilli, this is because of flora. There's a fight between flora. The lactobacilli goes down and there is increased what? Mobilunculus and Garnerella vaginalis. Garnerella vaginalis. D vaginalis. Garnerella vaginalis. So this is because of flora thing. So you have to treat the partner. So not needed. That's also out. So male partner no need to be treated. Herpes genital is plus minus. Yes, I mean, uh, if uh, uh, not necessarily the treatment is here because many times herpes genital is happens in the immunocompromised patient too. In immunocompromised patient, you would have seen especially HIV patients or sometimes, you know, when there's excess uh, fever, calcic, uh, carcinoma, so many other conditions also, herpes genital is come. So treatment not needed. So the only left is trichomonas. Trichomonas is definitely needed. We are, we are going to talk about trichomonas vaginalis here one minute. Trichomonas is easy because I told you to always remember Trisha, Trisha. So Trisha is a single Trisha. You know, I always say Trisha. This is, remember the actress, okay? We, we South Indian Trisha is popular. So Trisha, trichomonas vaginalis. Okay, Trisha. So what is important here? You see, she's a single. She's a single, single, single. Why? So a lot of single comes because this is only single host. There is no any animal host. There's only single human host. So single host, number one. And there's only single nucleus. Only single nucleus is there. There, number two, and we have only trophocyte, single trophocyte, single trophocyte. There is no cyst, single trophocyte, no cyst. Okay, so sorry, single, single, hogya, easy, hogya. And a favorite is strawberry, strawberry vagina, strawberry vagina. Okay, this is the way I want you to remember. So you'll never ever forget. Lifelong you will remember. So strawberry vagina is favorite. Dusra hai green veggies. She love green veggies. Madlab kya hai? I told you green discharge, green color discharge. So every year trichomonas vaginalis, one question is there. It's like examiner's favorite. I don't know why. The question is asked by dermatologists or microbiologists. I don't know, but they love this question. So you have to keep this question in your fingertips. That's what this. If you know this clue, it's easy. And here, this is a single nucleus. When it's a single, this is a single nucleus. Only trophocyte. There is no cyst. Okay. And there is this four anterior flagella and one posterior flagella. Four anterior flagella and one posterior flagella. That's again, that's important. Few times they ask that question. And one more thing. Why are you putting this picture? This is because look at, look at this beautiful diamond. He's wearing a diamond. So the media for growing, it is diamonds media. Diamonds media number one. And then you see the beautiful eyelash, lash media. Okay, we have lash cysteine media, lash cysteine media. So these are like the classic questions. There couldn't be any questions out of this topic, trichomonas vaginalis, one of the costumes of the vaginalis. Okay, that's what I want to flow. And then what? So because she's single, what happened? She's, meet, she's meeting many men, you know. She she has to, have, she likes to have fun with men. So tell all the men who are sex with her to take what? Metronidazole, metronidazole, metronidazole. So give her metronidazole for all the partners. Trisha does that. So whenever she sleeps with someone, she tell her, oh, please take a metro and dose. Oh, no? In this way, you'll remember. Okay. So the answer is easy. So it was a trichomonas vaginalis partner to be treated and all other STDs except these uh, exceptions. Okay. Now, next. Bubo. Bubo OIU. This is so fun. You know, when you see this question, you feel so happy. You know, like it brings you a lot of happiness. So how I remember Bubo. What is a Bubo is basically a painful lymph node. Painful lymph node. Okay. Painful lymph node. See, we have, when you talk about STD ulcers, no, STD ulcers. So we have two things. One is the ulcer, the ulcer itself. It could be painful or not painful. Okay. A painful. Or not. Another one is your lymph node swelling. Ulcer can be pain positive or pain less. No pain or no pain. So no pain, uh, when you talk no pain, that is your CP list. When you say CP list, less means less. No pain, only no pain. That you know, that's very class. No pain, syphilis. With the pain, rest all will come under the pain category. Only chancroid, herpes, and this LGB, all things. And in lymph node also, there is one thing which is really painful. The lymph node is painful, but the ulcer is not. That is your that is your uh, LGV. We'll talk about that. LGV. In LGV, lymph node, which is painful, that is bubo. Bubo, we have. Okay. We'll talk about that now. So how to remember this? How do I remember? This is a bubo. The picture was not given again. This, I put a picture for you guys to know. So this is a bubo. And this is an ulcer. And this is a bubo. A lymph node, painful lymph node. Sometimes it gets eroded and discharge can happen. So now, what to know? How to? How do I remember? I always remember like this. I remember this girl called Eti. Eti. You know, Eti. Eti ka favorite kid. This Eti, she's a very good cook. She's a very good cook. She likes LG products. She loves LG products. She always, you know, used to buy LG stove, LG cooker, etc, etc. And what else she makes with the LG cow and microwave? You know, microwave LG sauce. You know, she always buy microwave product in kitchen, full of LG product. And LG products, what would she make? First of all, she makes delicious bun. And then she makes delicious gravy, gravy, very delicious gravy. And she fries all the items. She fries all the items. Okay. So, you got all the clue. What is that? LG, 
LGB. What is AT? AT because ATO mine. ATO mine. Any ATO mine is basically stitches. It's basically the stitches formed. You know what? What? Uh, I'll tell you. No, this. Uh, the, the ATO mine is otherwise when there is, you know, they call it as elephant yeses. They also call it as uh inguinal elephant yes it's a type of std elephant yes also you can say you know because it looks like big and enlarged like elephant that's because of stitches not forming so that is ethiomine so this question was asked previously uh lymph lg stop because lymphogranuloma venerum and bun because bun for bubo make bun as a bubo gravy because of groove sign groove sign was asked previously many neat exams they asked what is the groove sign it is seen only in because big big bubos you know lymph node groove ho jata hai. there will be a space between two lymph nodes ke beech mein space ho that that's called groove sign and fry freeze freeze test freeze test if you remember the hypersensitivity comes in hyper type 3 hypersensitivity reaction freeze sorry 4 type 4 hypersensitivity reaction f for help F for free, F for poor. Yes, sorry, question. Definitely frequently asked questions. So expected. Expect if you only seen my previous lecture, ethiomine, LG stuff, you would have definitely made this question right. So answer is LGV. Syphilis me, what is not bubo? It's a painless. I told you syphilis me, everything is painless. So no pain. There's no bubo. No pain. There is a lymph node enlargement, but there's no pain. Shankaroid definitely painful, but we don't, it's not classic for the uh shankaroid. It just uh, that is. Uh, uh, decree, H decree. That's also not. So this is not this out. Granuloma inguinal. We have a bubo. Granuloma inguinal is based clepsular granulomatosis. That's called donovanosis. That's called donovanosis. Donovanosis. I'm so happy with this disease. Also, I love this disease. And so uh, granuloma. What happens is that you have a pseudo bubo. It's, you know, I told you, Dona is a good guy. Pseudo bubo. Dona is. I told Dona is a good guy. Uska grandma, grandma, Dona, Dona ka grandma. He is very nice person. He helps his grandma always. So he is, you know, pseudo bubo. He's a good guy. So there's no everything is false, you know, false bubo. Okay. And there's uh, other things are there in the disease. Uh, we will talk when that things comes. Okay. And even safety pin appearance, all those things come. So that is also out. Pseudo bubo. So bubo means LGV, lymphogranuloma venerum. And cost of agent is what? You know, that is caused by chlamydia. Chlamydia, chlamydia, us may be clue her. What is that? L1, L2, L3, L1, L2, L3, because two STDs are the main chlamydia trachomatosis causes the uh, uh discharge uh, uh uterine discharge std discharge but here uh, uh lymphogran chlamydia l1 l2 l3 serotypes they cause what lymphogranuloma venerum very easy very very easy okay so this question the you i'm sure you would have made it right okay very good now answers i expected every time expected so see vaginal discharge a theme question pooch liya a candidate who again trichomonas which again those are the answers criteria answers criteria you know very well there are two criteria answers criteria Amsel's criteria. Dusra hai apka Nugent's criteria. Nugent's. Nugent's criteria. Uh, Amsel's criteria is more a uh, clinical criteria. Ye kaha par ye dono criteria kis disease mein aata hai? This is a fingertip you know. Kis ka aata hai? Dono criteria kis ko chahi? BV. BV. BV ka do criteria chahi. Sare BV ka house, you know, husband, the wife BV. The wife BV ka criteria chahi. Sare chis ko unka criteria chahi. Ek Amsel criteria, ek Nugent's criteria. Okay. This you remember. Okay. This is the way we you know it's going to be more fun. You will understand now. I'm saying okay now uh answers criteria nutrients criteria okay this is one thing now let's see this is this characteristic for the bacterial vaginosis okay fine now uh what we're going to do is that in answers criteria the what are things you uh you're going to look for one for the discharge the, i already told you profuse discharge profuse white discharge aata hai, vaginal discharge. profuse white vaginal discharge aata hai, female ko. okay then us discharge ko kya karogi? you're going to do a, a test called whip test Whip test. Whip test me kya karte? Just you add a 10 percentage KOH solution. Usme kya aate? You'll get a fishy smell. Amain achar na? Fishy smell. Fishy odor. Amon that's amain fishy odor. Okay. Fishy odor you say. Dousa kya ek pH bana do. Usse pH. Discharge you make a pH. pH should be more than 4.5 because less than 4.5 is candidiasis. Okay. And then last kya aate? Baby ka kuch clue nahi hai. Husband kis ke saath jata hai? Aate usko clue nahi hai. Clue cells. Clue cells. She has always you know clue. Clue. Clue cells. Okay. She has a clue. If, I'm sorry. If the husband, she suspects the husband. She has a clue that husband slept with someone. If she gets trichomonas vaginalis, okay. So clue cells. So profuse white discharge with these are abscess criteria. Nugent's criteria is very simple. It's a microbial criteria. It's me. Sir, gram stain bana do. Gram stain bana me kya hota hai? Apko lactobacilli niche hota hai. Lactobacilli will go down. Dorsal bacilli, lactobacilli goes down. And you'll see increased what? Increased mobilincus, increased mobilincus, and increased gardnerella. Increased gardnerella vaginalis. Based on this, you'll put a there's a um, score is there. Thirteen ka year seven. There's some score. So based on that score only you have to do that score knowing this. I don't think that much important. That's more uh, really for you know to uh, when you're 
properly go for PG level. Uh, but then for the generally for question, you should know this. And this is the typical clue cells. Clue cells is basically what this is epithelial cell. Vaginal epithelial cell, kya hota when, you, when you see the this, this epithelial cells border, no, it is totally replaced by all your garnerella vaginalis and lactobacilli. They, they the, the borders are totally, you know, see the borders are not clear. It's covered by all this bacilli. This your garnerella vaginalis and mobiluncus. That's it. Yeah, yeah, epithelial cell. Ka. So this is a clue cell. Uh, both bar clue cells put chuka hai. So kiska clue hai? Baby ko clue nahi hai. Clue, either clue hota hai, clue nahi hota hai. Husband is sleeping with other ladies, clue. So clue, BV, bacterial vaginosis. Okay, that's very, very easy. And bacterial vaginosis ka, amsis nujanus ka, both criteria hai BV ko. Or baby ka, all this test you do. Whiff test karna hai, profuse white issue hota hai. PH clues are that's it. Okay, you will you will you will definitely do it. So nothing. Uh, the next question. Next question is also very a lot of STD questions. I don't know this time. Okay, condyloma acuminata. Condyloma acuminata in pregnant female treatment. Condyloma acuminata. Condyloma first of all condyloma acuminata. You know that's a type of warts. This is the one. This is the picture is not given. Or I don't know if it's given. Uh, some said yes. Some said no. Some doctor said it was given. Some doctor said no. But doesn't matter. So this is the what it looks like. This vaginal watch. So what is and it's a pregnant female. Pregnant female. Usually when condyloma acuminata comes, you know you can do a lot of immunomodulators. Immunomodulators. Uh, before going, wait. Uh, uh, once again, I'm just going to stop here. This is all caused by which virus? Condylum acuminata is caused by condylum acuminata watch. It's caused by which one? Anogenital watch. It's caused by HPV. You know HPV. HPV by which one? Which one? 6 and 11. Exactly. 6. And this question was also asked. HPV 7. So the cervical cancer also caused by HPV. That is different with this. 16 and 18. 6 and 11 is for your uh, condylum acuminata watch, anogenital watch, and known as laryngeal papilloma. They cause. So treatment in condylum acuminata usually is immunomodulator, like your imiquimod, immunomodulator. Generally, but for pregnant ladies, it's contraindicated. You can't, pregnant ladies, may, you can't give immunomodulators. No, because well, she's already low immune. So you it, it'll cause problem. So what you're going to give there? Something called cryotherapy. Cryotherapy. Cryotherapy is, you know, that nitrous, you're using that nitrogen, liquid nitrogen, and then you're trying to remove it with it. So that, you know, the, the pregnant female's immune system will not get any problem. That's so cryotherapy. Two things, either immunomodulator or uh, cryotherapy. If it's a pregnant, go with cryotherapy. That's it. So this is a question. So again, related to micro only okay next what is seen in this this is one of my favorite question after so many years i'm here i was so happy because in my time i before like uh, 10 years you know the erythrasma question is frequently asked it comes very frequently now somewhat indirectly they've asked they said what is seen in the woodlamp investigation of this one the woodland uh it's very interesting woodland this is this is you see this is a see this girl's lipstick and see this this is basically what it's a coral red okay it's a coral it's not an apple green yellowish green you know i mean uh even i don't know like it i i don't know exactly options were same or not but whatever students because i said so it is a coral red ideally what happened they should have given the condition what is this condition this condition is called erythrasma 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 thrash na? erythrash thrashma okay erythrasma who is having this? Our Minu. This beautiful girl, Minu, is having this. Sir, Minu, you can't self. Yeah, I, I'll tell you. This is caused by one of your coronabacterium species, but not diphtheria. Coronabacterium, coronabacterium, minitisium. M I M I T E C U. Minitisium. Okay, minitisium. I kept Minu. Minitisium. M I N U. Minu. So that's what I said. Minu ka kya pasand hai? Coral red lipstick pasand hai. So that's what she has erythrasma. Coral red lipstick, Minu. Coral red, Minu. Okay, coral red minu erythrasma. That's it. Easy link. You will never ever forget. See, in coronabacterium, you know coronabacterium diphtheria. That is the most common one. Okay, but there are other coronabacterium which is very important. One is what? This is coronabacterium minu t sumum. They both were on, they asked frequently many times, but after now many years, now again they're coming back. Okay, which is causing erythrasma. Erythrasma. Thank God, you know, we discussed in our previous uh, the discussion video, the regular videos in my YouTube channel. So it's there, but uh, again, I'm going to make more revision videos. Don't worry for whole microbiology. I'm um, especially for bacteriology. I'll make separately one for you all of you guys. <laughs> and one more question they asked is coronavirus parvum. Coronavirus parvum. Coronavirus parvum is what immunomodulator. This question was also frequently asked. Maybe next exam, next upcoming exam, be ready. They might go into. They're going to ask you parvum. Parvum paru is immunomodulator. Not that. Uh, not that virus paru single paru paru the Devdas ka Aishwarya Rai paru single. You know single. Bachchu ko slap karta hai. You know fifth grade disease slap chhi ka parents wo nahi hai. 
ये दूसरा पावर वो इम्यूनो मॉडुलेटर भी करती है ओके शी इज आल्सो इम्यूनो मॉडुलेटर एक और है जी कुम कोने मीडियम जी कुम जी कुम का कैसे करना है जी है ना जी 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 और जे जे इज वेरी रेजिस्टेंट का बहुत रेजिस्टेंट होता है ठीक है उनको वैनकोमेसिन ट्रीटमेंट देना पड़ता है दिस इज ओनली ड्रग इट्स वर्किंग ओके ओके दैट्स फॉर अपकमिंग एग्जाम वी डिस्कस डोंट वरी बट आई एम जस्ट सेइंग अपार्ट फ्रॉम कोने मीडियम डिफ्थीरिया तो क्लियरली पता चाइनीज लेटर क्यूनिफॉर्म आई थिंक यू गाइस एक्सपेक्ट दैट अल्बर्ट स्टेन मेटाक्रोमेटिक ग्रैन्यूल स्टोरेज ग्रैन्यूल्स अल्बर्ट स्टेन करना है पार्क विलियम स्टेन उसका वैक्सीन है ऑल दिस things you must have thought but up unfortunately you didn't get the question love plus media rktbm media oh nahi nee aaya so they went directly to what coronavirus mini to some ko chale gaya okay this is the way the question is going to be so it's, it's easy easy is that's why i'm saying again and again i'm repeating micro is a delicious chocolate very easy subject okay only you to know how to how you know you should know how to make it fun that's it okay okay now next question uh it's not uh, easy it's 25 questions i can't build 25 question like is Almost you passed. You know, if you if you clear this twenty five question, you are like you know, students who stand in the border. No, hundred and thirty, hundred and thirty five, hundred and forty. Many in very good students just stuck in that range. So if you correct this twenty five question, means your mark is already more than one fifty. You are like one sixty, one seventy five. That's what I'm saying. Please, micro is important. I will make even more more easy in upcoming videos. Please, you keep on following. Uh, don't worry, you will do very good. Okay. So now see the next question. This is. Uh, I don't tell me there is not a single exam without this question. Okay, okay. I I see. Okay. Uh, before going to answer, Tom Pricker. Tom Pricker is there. Garden. So he's a gardener. Okay, he's maybe a gardener. He got a lesion forearm which spreads linearly up to shoulder. S A. This is a leg, but actually, okay, shoulder. It doesn't matter. Uh, S A. They are saying like this. His car hat me tha. It's like some rash. And it's going linear, linearly. Chalega to a crash. What is that? That is your sporotrichosis. Sporotrich, sporotrichosis, sporotrich saying guy. Okay, sporotrichosis. This is a subcutaneous mycosis. Subcutaneous mycosis. Subcutaneous fungi. Okay, mycosis. So remember, you have to do M R C S for doing subcutaneous. M R C S. Okay, for subcutaneous mycosis. M for mycetoma. R for rhinosporidiosis. C for chromoblastomycosis. S for sporotrichosis. Now sporotrich is saying guy. Again, sporotrichosis. Me, what do I remember? I see the picture. everything is here you don't even have to use your brain please save your brain for other 18 subjects you forgot about micro micro is so easy it's just it's here and it's just here in your fingertips not in the brain in your fingertips so listen look at this guy this is a rose gardener so other disease this is a, i always say this is a rose gardener rose gardener disease ho gaya sporotrichosis so, ho gaya okay uska sporotrichosis hai iska dikha dekho ek to ulcer aata hai along the thing if dekho if anything going along the line like this means definitely the underlying organ should be what lymphatic system lymphatic hona chahiye nahi to artery hona chahiye artery or veins hona chahiye so usually this type of this is artery that's you know lymphatics only so lymphatics mein uska kya wound aa gaya wo chhod do the rose gardener ka kya kya pasand hai ek to dekho kya hai this is sigar rose gardener ka kya kya pasand hai ek to sigar peeta hai rose gardener kya kehta sigar peeta hai dusra kya karta hai uske unke paas kya splendor bike hai don't forget splendor bike hai rich hai ye hamare himalaya se hai rose gardener ye is a splendor bike okay is a very good splendor bike splendor hopley phenomena aise hai na it's a special it's a microbiological phenomena uh, sorry pathological phenomena you will see some special uh, this things changes in the tissue splendor hopley ho gaya dusra kya rose gardener to rose hai so uska rose shaped conidia hota hai rose shaped conidia conidia uska hota hai rose shaped okay एक हो गया so uh, splendor uh, he smokes sugar uh, and uh, also gobi appearance gobi gobi not only for leprosy me sirf leprosy sirf lepros gobi nahi kata hai rose gardener bhi gobi kata hai theek hai remember so kata hai okay and then dusra ek important body what is this important body what is beautiful body what you seeing this is a star night time mein sugar pe ke star ko dekhta hai rose gardener so that is asteroid body ye pura question pichle saal in past 5 years as you can check if you want you can i'm not lying anything everything was there i don't know you made it easy or not so asteroid body rose like this a rose like conidia okay rose like conidia asteroid ko pe nightmare star ko dekhta hai na asteroid ko dekhta hai wo gobi pasand hai usko rose conid splendor hopley phenomena se agar ye pura aap kisme aa jata hai theek hai aur uska treatment kya hai uska kya karta hai is pura treatment ka aap treatment mein isme clear karne ke liye kya karna hai you have to add atar atar is atar is a perfume no he puts atar on this wound can you believe atar mean kyu atar bola because itar hai itra kona zol itra kona zol the treatment is atar nahi atar to it's for a smell perfume you know you say itar right i i in tamil i'm pronouncing in tamil itar you say right itar itar so itar itar you say itar itra kona zol so drug of choice itar kona zol ho gaya dusra aapko pata hai rose plant kahan par hota hai pot mein hota hai so pot for potassium pot potassium iodide potassium iodide treatment atar ko pot ho gaya 
So see, already this question is over. This no, it's already a fingertip. You will never ever forget a story of a rose gardener. Rose gardener is sugar person. This he likes to drive in a splendor bike. Rose like conidia se uske paas hai. Gobi kata hai. Nighttime star asteroid star ko dekhta hai. What? Oh, usko perfume ke liye he loves perfume. Itar perfume so much. So treatment is itra kona zor. Itra kona zor. Okay. And then pots are there. Also dimorphic fungi and this thing. Okay. So now what is this? So here no, they ask. They 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 are very smart. They didn't ask pots because because what the pots because sab ko everybody knows. You know. In hospital, even uh, even like you know, from the, uh, even the small kids, school kids also nowadays they know sport three courses. It's not easy, okay? So he has given like this: abscess, lymphangitis, for uncle. Definitely lymphangitis. So your answer would be lymphangitis. Okay, this is the right answer, not abscess and for uncle. Okay, so that's it. So next question. Now this foul smelling crust. Foul smelling crust. Excuse me. So foul smelling crust. Yeah. So uh, when you talk about the foul smelling crust, see here. So for this, this is like this. The nose is like this. They've given us spacey, you know, roomy nose. They've given a spacey, roomy nose. Okay, and then uh, like this, just a foul smelling crust is seen. Some crust. I don't know exactly which picture was given, but we have talked many times about it. For this is like a, the nose is very roomy nose. We call it called roomy spacey nose, roomy nose. They say, and this me atta. So when the room is no, when this nose is roomy and this crust atta, then usme kya hona chahiye? There should be some air trophy, no? There should be some atrophy inside the nose. Basically, it's an ENT question too. Atrophy. So that is basically what atrophic. Uska vajas uska crust hua hai. And how it is atrophy in this me? It is foul smelling. Atrophy in this me. It is foul smelling. Okay. Atrophy in this is caused by which one? Klebsiella oziania. Oziania. Okay. The klebsiella. Two nose me ke ek to klebsiella reno. Ah, uh, klebsiella reno sclerosis. Reno sclerosis, which causes the Udinos, reno, oh, do such it, Udinos. Ajkal Udinos, the Pella, yeah, the Clepsilla, reno sclero, reno sclerosis, which causes the Udinos. Us is a both question at the Udinos. Uh, if you remember, it's me, Miklich body, Russell's body, Miklich body, oh, chista. That is that one. Ajkal, oh, chordia. Abhi, now he's coming to what? Oziani. Oziani is causing the atrophic renitis, which is false smelling. Uske pass data kya smell data. Of course, no stana bada to false smelling, you know. He, uh, sometimes there is something uh, anosme also they call uh, the pathological anosme also but then whatever atrophic granite is the crust very foul smelling that's it okay this is one next next look at this question this is my always favorite question you know if you're seeing this picture i i know that what you guys thinking so diabetic patient Developed an excruciating pain and ear discharge. Yeah, yeah. The picture was not given. I'm sure the picture was not given. Or if it's given, I'm not sure. So here, here I mean, you see this. So there is this excruciating pain and discharge was there. When there is something like this, this is definitely, this is a, uh, yeah, I, I think someone told the picture was given. I'm not sure. Okay, whatever it is. Excruciating pain with ear discharge in the outside ear, whatever it come. And the clue is diabetic patient, Agya, though, whom you are going to think, you're going to think, Ekta, Kapoor. Ekta Kapoor, kyun? Ekta Kapoor, kyun hai? Because Ekta Kapoor, kya karti hai? Uske ear mein, anything, uske kitne ear mein, saare jaga pierce karti hai. Itne ek hi chota ear mein, she put a 10 piercing. Definitely, of course, infection to aajata hai na. This is just for clue, okay? Dead or dang. I, I put Ekta Kapoor because there's a condition, if you remember, Ekthima gangrenosum. Ekthima gangrenosum. It was frequently asked in my, before five, six years, frequently asked in all PG exams, but these days, I don't know why they, it's asked less. Erthrasma bhi aagaya, so next time Ekthima gangrenosum can come in your so you can get next time ectima gangrenosum also. Okay, just have a skin lesion. But ekta kapur, ekta kya pseudomonas, ekta kapur kya pseudomonas. Q pseudomonas, everything is colorful in pseudomonas. Is ka kya hai? Uska nail and a blue color nail. New color, pus be blue, blue or green color, pus, pus colorful. Or uska culture media, uska kya hai? It is a pigment producing. So you have a greenish, bluish pigment producing culture, pigment on the culture. So sorry, colorful hota. So if anything is colorful, then that is ekta kapur, ekta kapur, pseudomonas originosa. She's traveling a lot, so she, of course she will, you know, unhealthy lifestyle. She, she get diabetes, of course she get what? Malignant otitis externa. Malignant otitis externa. Classic for uh, pseudomonas, as you know, some people get. And that's one, one other country, swimmers here be him. Swimmers here is because we're swimming, because she loves swimming. Shanghai jati hai, Shanghai jake swimming pool mein gusha jati hai. So swimmers ear aata hai, Shanghai fever bhi aata hai. A lot of diseases, if you talk about uh, Shang, Shanghai fever, if you talk about pseudomonas, you know, there are so many diseases. In cystic fibrosis also, it causes a lot of uh, pneumonia, uh, pneumonia, pneumonia, causes lung pneumonia, upper respiratory tract infections. 
nail nail infections i already told you so all these variety of diseases no it is caused by uh, pseudomonas so it is the answer is your malignant otitis externa otitis ex not just otitis ex it's a malignant because you there's excruciating pain and ear discharge and diabetic patient that is classic diabetic head that is necrotizing as only otitis ex it can be staph for you so whatever not that is this thing and otitis media you know the cost of which is streptococcus pneumonia we are not talking about otitis media new that is different features you you saw you read in the uh, theory and the cost of which of uh, otitis media is streptococcus pneumonia okay and it's more children so here, malignotis externa. This is classic question, no making. Or necrotizing otitis media or malignotis media in the ear. That's it. Okay. So clear. Diabetic ke to ye aana chahiye. Okay. Right. Next. Type of student. Type of student is again an ENT question. Okay. But doesn't matter. So look at type of student group. When you talk about group, I kya sochunga? Dekho, niche dekho. Ye group, ye group hai. Crop hai. Crop ka group karo. Crop karo. Kuch bhi doesn't matter. Crop means all the flower, the garden, you know, the garden with a lot of crops growing there, no? A lot of crops. Wo crops ka beech mein, kon beta hua hai? Hamara paramamsa ji, na? Paramamsa. Paramamsa guru. Param hamsa. Param. Param beta hua hai. Param ke saath kya hai? Dekho, ek achcha sa beautiful temple hai. Ye kya bolte isko? Steeple, steeple. I mean, it's a church steeple they call. So now let's put temple and this is a steeple. Okay. It's just to remember. Okay. Steeple, steeple. Okay. Steeple sign. Ye steeple sign. Okay. Param, para influenza, para influenza, crop, crop, crop ko crop banado. Okay. That's it. Ye apko. You, you've not found the answer. So what is exactly crop means? It is actually. A steeple sign Q atai. This is a steeple sign. Deko. As a mandir jaisa na. Upar ek steeple hai. Okay. This is what exactly. It's a acute laryngeo tracheo laryngeo tracheo bronchitis. Bronchitis. I, I'm not going into the ENT details. But only thing I know. There is inspiratory stridor, expiratory stridor and biphasic stridor. Upar hai to. It's inspiratory or niche. Expiratory. Uh, I mean when you talk about your system. There is this larynx. Uh, you know, larynx, trachea, bronchi, you know, essay, na. So, how uh, good? Uh, inspiratory, upar, any problem in upper or any problem, niche, you do it. But when the entire thing is affected, it's obvious, no? Larynx, trachea, bronchi, completely poor affected. So, definitely, it should be what? Bipasic. Okay. This is what I discussed with my ENT friend, and he said it's bipasic. Okay. If I'm not mistaken. So, this is the answer. So, group, again, larynx, trachea, Previously, he, they used to ask costive agent or they give the radiological sign. Is bar kya ho They ask the straight off. That's a biphasic strata. Okay, got it? If, uh, biphasic strata. It's okay if you made a mistake. There are few. I told you some questions. You will get confused. Even I, I would have confused at that time, you know. Kya hoga aise aise. Okay, so don't don't worry. It's it's fine. It's fine. Totally fine. Now, plasmodium is affecting the brain. Brain means uh, a plasmodium. Plasmodium means what? That is which is causing the malaria. So, which is that malaria causing organism that affecting the brain? Brain means it is what? Cerebral malaria. Cerebral malaria. Cerebral malaria. Okay, cerebral malaria. This you should know. Cerebral malaria. So, cerebral malaria is something dangerous. Which is the dangerous? I always say for the clue among all the plasmodium species, Mr. Mao. Mao? Mao ko hai? Chinese hai na? Chinese hai Mao. Koi bhi Mao hai? Wo ram pita hai. Mao ram pita hai. Subset dangerous be here. Chinese Mao, Chinese ko, Chinese ko, that uh, previous wala, that uh, uh, that leader, no? Mao, they call him Mao, Mao, you know, Mao, they, they, the name is, you will frequently hear this name in movies. No. So dangerous. This ka matlab kya hai? Mao to basically more dots. M-A-U, Moers dot, both bar put chuka hai. This is classic for plasmodium. Rum means plasmodium. Falsiparum, falsiparum. Rum, 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 rum. Okay, rum, rum. Okay, rum, rum. Okay, false for mogia. Dangerous because sare side effects. Cerebral malaria is but which okay. Next time they can ask you what? Next time they can ask you renal, kidney, kidney failure. Okay, kidney fever. Okay, kidney. All these things. There is a, uh, uh, any complication if you see in malaria, no dangerous complication. No, it will be from your falciparum only. Okay, black water fever also. Okay, black water fever. If you remember kidney affect, I say black water fever because of hemolysis and all. No, black water fever. That is also one of the classic questions. So anything dangerous will be uh, your falciparum. That matter. I don't go detail with all other things. That's different. You should give picture. You know, gametocyte. Uska kaise banana shape gametocyte. Moyer dots. You know, recrudescence kis me jada hota hai. This all comes to banana me crescent me male female gametocyte. These questions are asked. This time they ask which is causing the brain. So the cerebral malaria. Your answer is. Palsy, paro. Okay, got it? Right. Now next. Yeah. Now, excuse me. 
Look at this question. Another interesting question also. You can't make mistake. There's a fever, there's a rash, and there's a HR. This is a HR. HR is a characteristic, you know. Fever rash to many disease. Hai, but this is an HR. So usually this type of fever, rash, HR, no. In uh, bacteriology, it's very common for typhus. Typhus, any typhus fever, they can have this. So only clue for you is the mite, mite bite. Mite bite is the clue for you. So, and one more thing, HR, the word is also very characteristic for two diseases. One is your anthrax, bacillus anthrax or andrea. Anna. Another one is for scrub typhus, scrub typhus, okay, typhus, okay, scrub typhus. So anthrax too, it's not due to any insect bite. That is because of what? Animal, animal leather content. But the Andrea, she wears this, Andrea, anthrax, she wears this leather jacket, animal content, you know, Harry Potter, wool sorted disease, yada, right? malignant pustule. So that is one thing for anthrax. But scrub type was made is because of the scrub. You know what I would say? I would always say, very shortly, if you want to remember how I remember, you know, I remember, I, I say, uh, Mr. Tom, you know, Tom, I tell uh, Tom, Tom, what is Tom? You know, he drinks... Jigar Danda, Jigar Danda. Jigar Danda is a famous, delicious drink in South India. Tom drinks Jigar Danda and scrubs himself. After that, what happened? Tom uh, drinks Jigar Danda after scrubbing, after scrubbing. And then what happened? He might, he might get what? Susu. He might get Susu frequently because he drinks Jigar Danda. He will get Susu frequently. Okay, what is this? A comedy? Yes, comedy. Pura important question. That's what I made this comedy. Tom for trombicloid mite. Kabi kabi kya hota hai? They don't give you just mite. They'll give you trombicloid. Many types of mite. Hard mite means there's so many things. So trombicloid, trombicloid mite bolta hai sometimes. Sometimes we call what chigar. Why is it? Because it's also called chigar. Chigar trombicloid mite or chigar. Chigarosis. That's what the disease is also called chigarosis. Scrub scrub typhus ho gaya. Okay, scrub typhus. Mite mite same. This is all the same name. Susu susu me apko yaad aana chahiye. What is this? Susu is susu mugusi. Susu gu mushi. Susu gu Moshi, Suchuku Moshi is the costive agent. Orientia Suchuku is the costive agent. I don't know what was the question exactly, but you have two clues. One is the SR, you have to say that it might be. There are two clues for you. So, endemic typhus, no. Endemic typhus is standard. Endemic is small area. Small area is what is flea? Small area is flea. Small area is flea. Epidemic is the area. What is big area? Is the Laos. What is the Laos? Epidemic is the Laos. It's Laos, you know. Laos is lies. All the world is the same. Epidemic is a big level, no? So, loves, okay? I'm not, uh, just like this, you remember, okay? Loves. Now, anthrax to bilkul insect bite nahi hai. So, only option is scrub typhus. Or if they give oriented suchumusi, it's also fine. This is the answer. Right. Got it? Very simple. Very, very simple. So, this is the this. scrub typhus. Ko yeh yeh. Scrub typhus, even triad also. There's uh, skin rash, lymphadenopathy, and SR is there. SLE, short get. That's okay. That's not important. Now, remember, any, how you want to remember? I want you to remember. Scrub on to cone scrub karta hai, Mr. Tom. Tom the trombicloid mite. Unka kya pasand hai? Chigar danda pasand hai. And he is chigar ne sauce and And then what happened? He of course, he go for susu. He goes to susu frequently. That's it. Ho gaya. Aishara gaya. I would have not even revised this for exam. If this type of question comes, no, it's it's there because I made all the silly, silly, I don't know how you guys feel, but it's definitely helping. You know, it's definitely helping and it's very good. Okay. Now next one. The patient with, uh, see this question also very interesting. Ha. The patient is coming with uh, fever, lymphadenopathy with rash and history of flea bite. I told you, flea, flea, flea is there. So flea means what? What do you think if there's a flea? Flea means, just now I told, flea is a small area. So it is a, see, fever, lymphadenopathy, rash, so again I told, it's a typhus, definitely typhus. So but typhus, so what's the typhus? Flea, flea, to flea, flea, to the example, you know, take, uh, the, uh, kuch bhi flea, house flea, le lo. house flea, what is it? Kisi, endemic ek ek jaga mein hota hai, na? So remember like that. Any endemic typhus, not only endemic typhus, even the, uh, your uh, 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 relapsing fever also, endemic relapsing fever also, if you see this, what? It's a flea. So all small, small areas flea. So yaan par dekho. Endemic typhus hai? So that's our answer. Huh? This answer, we'll mark it in, we already know it. Anthrax ko to nahi aega. Some scrub typhus, we already put it's mite, okay? He might get, who, the, who, who gets the tomocloid might get su su su, su su, okay? And epidemic typhus is uh, totally, epidemic is a big level, so it should be what? It's a flea. Uh, sorry, it's a louse, lice. Okay, lice or louse. Okay, this was out. So endemic type is the answer. Very easy. I'm sure you would not made mistake in that question. Okay, now look at this question. Wow, it's a question was so beautiful, so beautiful. I really love this type of questions. I'm not exaggerating students. It's okay, doctors. Some might be seeing it first time and never heard this way of 
uh, teaching micro. So, but this is the way how I remember that's what micro is like one of my, you know, top three easiest subjects in my all 19 subjects, you know, uh, uh, apart from patho, uh, medicine's a favorite always, but then like micro was like in top three. Okay. So I love this subject. Just because of this, the way, you know, you read, you make it easy and funny. So you'll never forget it. Okay. Now look at this question. A patient from Kerala was presenting with fever, headache, drowsiness. Okay. Let's stop here. Kerala. Kerala se aagya to you will be thinking few diseases only. Kya hai? Nipa ho sakta hai, Ebola ho sakta hai, Zika ho sakta hai. You know, Kerala se most of these days, most viruses are coming from there only, not in a bad way. Okay, I'm not saying that, you know, this is possible. Uh, usually identified there only, hai na? Ebola, uh, and then uh, uh, Nipa, and then, uh, you know, Zika. It's like, whenever Kerala, these viruses are coming. So, a clue, other stop karo. Okay, next. Fever, headache, drowsiness. That is encephalitis. That is encephalitis. Miss encephalitis causing virus, virus which affecting the brain. History of drinking palm tree juice. Palm tree matlab fruit. Fruit hai to, something related with the fruit. So what it could be? History of drinking the fruit. So that fruit ka kiska pasand hai? Fruit bat ko pasand hai. Hai na? That bat is the one which is culprit, no? Who is spreading all these things. So fruit bat. Okay. Okay. Fruit bat. Okay. Now, fruit bat agyo to, what are the viruses that should, we should come in your mind? Uh, even uh, Ebola also bat is there for Ebola bat is there but anyway that's that's Ebola is not coming here uh, uh, that is hemorrhagic fever that is causing viral hemorrhagic fever so you don't need to bring it here so fruit bat hai to fruit ko hindi mein kya bolta hai fal bolta hai we call fal 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 ho gaya answer got it nifa virus even if this didn't strike you fruit juice with any because this bat in the fruit bat no see here this is the, this fruit bat it drinks not only the palm any fruit it, it, it just bites on any fruit and we accidentally consume it okay as a juice or a fruit and then we get the nifa virus infection and encephalitis they get so but this is a clue for you so kerala one clue encephalitis another clue and this fruit bat itself is enough for you pulp fruit nifa so this is the answer Right, okay. So we finished. So we got this also. So there is, uh, if you made mistake, it's okay. Again, I'm not going to be very harsh on you, but just remember, okay. So this is the easiest one. Okay, way to remember. Now, next one. This is again, there was not an exam, I think, in almost every PG exams and FMG frequently asked, but they ask in a different way. Here, they ask in a very easy way. HIV positive patient meningitis. I will not read the question above. HIV meningitis agayato. That is enough for me to say the most common cause of meningitis in HIV patient is your cryptococcus. Cryptococcus. The only capsulated, not only there are a few more capsules, but only in broad view, it's the only capsulated fungi we have. Okay, clinically very important here also. Cryptococcus. Most common cause is cryptococcus. This is enough for me. Okay, I will mark cryptococcus directly. But of course, they have given you clue. CSF sample with Indian ink preparation is positive. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't know where they're given. Whenever they say Indian ink means they will give you capsule. So the only capsulated fungi that is cryptococcus. We have so many capsulated bacteria. Fungus may there are there are another two, three also is there, but that's that's for not for you. That's very high pH level, not for you. Cryptococcus. For us, clinical cryptococcus, capsulated cryptococcus. So Indian ink positive means the, if they've given a picture, it should be like this. Yeah, no, this is a background. You know, everything is dark. Background is dark because that's a negative staining. You know, Indian ink and negrosin or negative staining. Negative staining. So negative staining means what happens? Only background will be dark. You will see only the structure you need. So a white color glowing, that is the capsule. That's a capsule. Very simple. Very, very simple. So directly cryptococcus neoformis. No histo, no blaster. If any other battery goes also, I will, I will not accept it. Some said streptococcus pneumonia was given. I really don't understand why. Even if streptococcus pneumonia given in HIV, that is not a common cause. And then uh, Indian ink is classic for Indian ink for any capsule. But uh, for strep pneumonia, it's not that recommended. That you can, you know, we have what uh, other tests know? Coolings reaction. We do coolings reaction for that. Okay. To check the capsule. Or we do the... We have uh, a rapid test also for the latex agglutination. No, we can do that. Not this. Okay, right. So, cryptococcus, this is the one. Okay, so you do. So, meningitis is most common cause. Okay, right. Now, patient, uh, another important meningitis, a lot of questions this time for STD and meningitis, a lot of questions have come. Okay, that's good. That's nice. Now, the patient that have meningitis, Dubara meningitis, lymphocytosis is seen in the CSF. Lymphocytosis. See, again, let's go very fastly. Meningitis, meningitis, see, this is like, this is a Bible. This is, a, see, this, 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 this meningitis is like one of the must-know topic in 
doctors because every year there is one question asked frequently asked okay so meningitis you can have what uh, you can have a bacterial and then you can have tb fungi they have same picture tb and fungi they almost have same picture and the last one is your virus virus meningitis and how to remember one thing is first of all about the glucose glucose and the protein glucose and protein ka le le to kya karta hai bacteria and tb bada fungi they are bada bada hai. so unka glucose chahiye they eat take lot of glucose so definitely kya hoga in csf mein glucose will go down 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 csf finding okay csf finding the glucose will go in the down 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 वायरस को तो जरूरत ही नहीं है सो इट विल बी नॉर्मल वायरस तो छोटा है ना उसको ग्लूकोज इट ग्लूकोज नहीं खाता इट इट्स आवर इंटर इट इट्स अ मास ओनली टेक्स आवर आवर थिंग ओनली इट विल नॉट टेक ग्लूकोज फ्रॉम द ब्लड एंड ऑल ओके सो नेम फ्रॉम द सीएसएफ सो यू रिमेंबर लाइक दैट ओके आई एम जस्ट गिविंग अ क्लू बैक्टीरिया फंजे बिटवीन भी बड़ा है सो ज्यादा ग्लूकोज खाता है लाइक वी आर टेकिंग ग्लूकोज फॉर एनर्जी दे टेक द ग्लूकोज फॉर देम सो सीएसएफ में ग्लूकोज कम होता है वायरस का नहीं होता कुछ नहीं होता नॉर्मल होता है प्रोटीन क्या होता है इन्फ्लेमेशन ज्यादा होता है बैक्टीरिया एंड फंज में इन्फ्लेमेशन ज्यादा होता है सो यू सी लॉट ऑफ प्रोटीन इन्फ्लेमेटरी प्रोटीन कमिंग आउट सो ऐसे सोच लो ये ज्यादा होगा ज्यादा होगा बट आपको वायरस में क्या होगा नॉर्मल वायरस तो इतना इन्फ्लेमेशन नहीं कस करता है वो साइलेंट किलर है ऐसे कुछ नहीं करता है सी इधर टैक्ट करता है ना सो वायरस का इट बी नॉर्मल नॉर्मल ओके सो ना ओनली थिंग इज द सेल्स द सेल्स इज द मेन थिंग सेल्स बैक्टीरिया होते यू नो इट्स न्यूट्रोफिल पी एम एन सेल न्यूट्रोफिल न्यूट्रोफिल और पॉलीमोरफिल पॉलीमोरफिल न्यूट्रोफिल्स ओके बेसिकली पीएम पास सेल्स विल गो हाई बट टीबी फंजे इन दोनों में क्या होता है लिम्फोसाइट्स ज्यादा होता है लिम्फोसाइट्स लिम्फोसाइट्स ज्यादा होता है लिम्फोसाइट्स लिम्फोसाइट्स actually i would add one more thing also remember in listeria one of the bacteria which is listeria is one exception wo bacteria hai but usme bhi kya hota hai lymphocytes go high okay that's one exception just not i'm not stressing uh, i don't know for pg level mein they might ask so only l for l hota hai otherwise all lymphocyte you remember only lymphocyte lymphocyte for uh, tb and viruses so yahan par lymphocytes ho gaya so what they've given uh, which one of the following so here everything is bacteria uh, streptococcus pneumoniae it's a bacteria so isme nahi so it will come here the neutrophil jyada hona chahiye so not this h influenzaeus but ye pura meningitis cause karta hai but isme kya neutrophil neutrophil nasal meninges also neutrophil so only left out is your mycobacterium tuberculosis mycobacterium tuberculosis you got it very simple so lymphocyte jyada ho raha hai tb fungi virus ye teenon mein lymphocyte jyada hota hai so if the picture is like this you mark mycobacterium tb very simple okay in fact tb two questions is bar aaya hua hai everywhere tb is expected question so tb is must okay i think one next question is tb okay the tb one question is coming okay we'll talk about that soon okay now look at this question uh, reserve fire for kala azar kala azar you know kala azar leishmania says and you know that is caused by leishmania kala azar so reserve fire for kala azar is you remember kala azar right the uh, that is the uh, uh, hepatosplenoma megaly with big you know that belly pictures we said no big hepatosplenoma megaly will be the patient thin you know all those things okay so that is i'm talking about that only okay a uh, black disease you know kalazar is black disease okay so now what is the reservoir reservoir is there is no any animal reservoir pig dog fox no human is the reservoir okay and one more thing uh, what is the vector what is the vector of reservoir uh, this is a reservoir what is the vector if there is the vector that is your sand fly you know that sand fly So this question also frequently asked. So not a big deal. And then you know the diagnosis of colors are you check for what? a mastigot form. The diagnostic form in the uh, to find the colors are is that you do what colors you check for the colors is a mastigot form. A mastigot form inside macrophage. A mastigot. A mastigot. Okay. This is the thing. Not much in this thing. So you should know colors are you must. It's very important topic. So definitely you must be knowing. Okay. So you must be able to look at treatment and all. You know that one. Okay. Right. Now next. Next is the patient. Ha, huh. a patient with history of contact with a dog, dog. There is only one disease I know in whole microbiology with a dog. What is that? I would not even go to further. Here is I'll stop and I'll make my answer. The answer should be which one? Hydatid cyst. Hyda hydatid dog itself. There is only one disease that just dogs contact. That mainly, mainly hydatid cyst or echino coccus. This is enough for me, but doesn't mean that I will leave the question. You know, I will read. hypochondrial pain ho gaya i think it was right hypochondrial pain or something something like that so right up to liver liver is affected on radiological image this is multi local cyst was seen if they have given the picture like this these all are you know this lot of cyst like thing you can see on both the liver here here and all so multi local cyst if is seen then definitely what it is your hydatid disease or echinococcus granulosa or dog type form someone told this dog type form so dog type form is this is the answer so you know that hydatid echinococcus the definite host is the Definite host is dog. 
and the intermediate host is intimate host is not human sheep man is actually accidental we get accidentally okay but the intermediate host is fine accidental host very important okay that means there are three diseases where uh, if you remember the three diseases where man is not a host what are the shortcut hmt one is the hydatid hydatid just now we we are talking about it that way dog is a definite host dog is a definite host and m is malaria malaria which is the definite host you are your mosquito. Mosquito is a definite host. The mosquito is a definite host. And then uh, on a T4, T4 your T4 your toxoplasmosis. Toxoplasmosis. There, cat is a definite host. That's it. Okay. These are the three diseases where man is not man is not definite host. Man is not definite host. Okay. Frequent test. HMT. Whatever you want to remember. Okay. Right. So this is the question. Okay. This is other picture also in hydrated cyst form. Okay. Just I wrote for you guys to remember. So this you remember. That's it. Okay. Hmm. Next. This question. A patient diagnosed with the acute rheumatic fever. Okay. The blood culture shows GPC in chains. GPC in chains. What is the causative agent? GPC in chains means if the picture was given, I heard. So this is the chain. Enough. Right? This is a gram positive, uh, gram positive cocci in the chain. So I always give you a clue. Whenever there is a chain, look at this picture. Who is this girl? She is a stripper. She is a stripper. Stripper and who dances in the club? You know stripper. Of course, you guys know. Stripper kya pente deko? Kitna bada chain pente. So strippers means chain. Okay, that means strippers means streptococcus. Streptococcus, strepto. Kya hote? Sare strepto, streptococcus. They are in form of chains. Okay, long GPC in chains. Gram positive cocaine in chains. Okay, clue. Ye deko ye kon hai? Ye nursing staff hai. Nursing staff is what? Nursing staff, huh? Staff ka kya pasand hai? Ek to cat pasand hai. Dusra kya pasand usko? Grapes pasand hai. Grapes pasand hai. Sir, ye kya hai? Iska madlab ye ye. Sare staphylococcus or not only staphylococcus or yes, any staphylococcus, they have what positive? One is catalase positive. Cat positive. So catalase positive unke pas cat hai dusra unka kya pasand hai grapes pasand hai it means gpc in cluster grape like cluster grape like cluster okay ye hona chahiye so this is question this is the this is like the first any in my bacteriology start karne ka pehle ye ye first we will be knowing it's like a, this is called like the Introduction in bacteriology for us. Okay, so this is the two. Uh, we have one streptococcus is in chain and streptococcus is in uh, grapes like cluster. Okay, so now come back to the question. GPC in chain again and acute rheumatic fever itself is enough for you. Acute rheumatic fever itself is given you, they, they given clue, you know the costive agent. Okay, I don't even have to tell. If you say, you know what is what is the organism? It should be a, it is a streptococcus pyogenes. Streptococcus pyogenes or otherwise, which is called as what? A class, I call her A class, A class Piari. I call A class Piari stripper. So group A. It's a group A streptococcus. Same. Okay, same. So answer top either mark or okay. But what about viridens? Viridens rheumatic fever nahi ka karta hai. But, but this is also GP engine, but it doesn't cause rheumatic fever. Ye cut kar do. What about Staphylococcus aureus? Mene bola ye grape like cluster hai. So it is this is chain. So, this is a rule out curve. This is a grape like That's what I showed you the picture. Ye grape like cluster hota hai. In cluster hota hai. So, it's out. Strep pneumonia usually kaise hota hai? It's not in chain. It is this one exception. Ye kaise hota hai? This streptococcus is what it's in the diplococci. It's a diplococci. Diplo double double hota hai. Say lanceolate shape. No, aise hota hai. Lanceolate shape. Okay, a hota hai. So, only left out is streptococcus pyogen. So, it's easy question. Easy piece. If you don't also know. If, if they win an option group A, streptococcus also, right? They are saying. I remember it with. Paya, Piari, Piari, Group A, Stripper. Piari, Group A, Stripper. Okay, if you see my videos, you will understand. Don't worry. And more videos I'm putting, so you it will be like in your fingertips. Definitely, don't worry. Okay, now next. Look at this question. I heard the same. Another question was come. Very interesting. They are same topic only. They are, you know, grinding you guys. The patient was with infective endocarditis. Agaya. And GPC in chains. So, yaapar mein staphylococcus ko strike out karunga. Not possible. And uh, step pneumonia also out. Because ye, ye diplococci hai, it's not in chain. And staphylococcus is in clusters. A bhi nahi hai. So, only two things which is possible in chain is <coughs> either streptococcus viridens or pyogens. Ye dono anche hai. But answer to infective endocarditis ho gaya. Infective endocarditis is caused by viridens group. 
है ना मोस्ट ऑफ द मोस्ट कॉमन कॉज इन्फेक्टिव एंडोकॉट अक्यूट एंड आईवी ड्रग यूज सो मेनी थिंग्स में क्लासिक बट विरोडेंस ऑल्सो कॉसेस विरोडेंस में यूशली इट कॉसेस वॉट सब अक्यूट यूशली इट कॉसेस सब अक्यूट इन्फेक्टिव एंडोकॉर्डाइटिस और लेट है ना आई आई कॉल इट इज विरो इन्फेक्टिव एंडोकॉर्डाइटिस हमारा विरो विराट कोहली है विराट विरो विरो कोहली है विरो इट्स एक्चुअली इज अ पार्शियल हिमोलाइसिस में आता है पार्शियल दैट इज ग्रुप पार्शियल हिमोलाइसिस एंड विरो इज ऑलवेज हैविंग सब अक्यूट एंड लेट ही इज ऑलवेज लेट टू मैच सो इज सब अक्यूट दैट्स इट लाइक दिस ओनली आई रिमेंबर ओके दैट्स इट इट्स बेसिकली इट्स इट्स कॉसिंग अ लेट prosthetic prosthetic wall infective endocarditis that's what i want to say okay right that's it and viruka kya usually it causes what usually it causes dental you know that one because all the dental caries dental infection viruka dental problem hai okay uh, no like that fine we are done with that now next one oh see tbs come now i told you no one meningitis is puche dusra ye classic question this is expected question and you no know way you're going to make mistake in this okay because this is now the this is the best test for tb in fact which of the following is primarily identify With CB NAT or gene expert, okay. So TB ka diagnosis means if you want to TB diagnosis, if you remember, there are two things. We can separate into culture. Dusra hai molecular, hai na? Culture and molecular. Abhi molecular is the most popular one than culture. If you remember all the uh, new methods. Culture mein old method mein kya hai? You know that which is the uh, that media we have LJ's media, LJ na? Conventional LJ media. Nahi hai to automated mein kya? Midget. और बैकटेक बैक टू अलर्ट बैकटेक इज बैकटेक बैक टू अलर्ट है ना बैकटेक बैक टू अलर्ट ये होता है कल्चर में दिस इज फास्ट इट टेक्स 6 टू 8 वीक्स इट इज 6 टू 8 वीक्स ये मिजिट होता है विद इन 1 वीक 1 वीक इज इनफ यू गेट द रिजल्ट मिजिट में मॉलिक्यूलर इज मोर फास्टर है ना मोर मॉलिक्यूलर में वन इज द जीन एक्सपर्ट जीन एक्सपर्ट दूसरा देयर आर सो मेनी थिंग्स हैव कम नाउ अदर इज कॉल्ड सीबी नेट सीबी नेट आल्सो वी कॉल सीबी नेट है ना सीबी नेट एंड अदर वन इज uh other uh, second is a line probe as a lpa we call line probe as a only difference here only problems in gene expert may you will check only rifampicin apart from identifying the organism tb you will see only rifampicin resistance can be detected but lpa may or uh, apart from tb you will you will do it all the drugs resistance can be identified all drug resistance in line line probe as a okay so aapko next time line probe as a aave to it's all they should be mtp with all the drug resistance on as a option mein but if they go gene expert it will be only rifampicin okay only rifampicin so your answer should be mycoma tuberculosis with rifampicin resistance this much tb diagnosis itna aapko yaad aana chahiye oh monto test uh, your uh, igra test oh pretty good latent tb ke liye that's different story i'm not going to bring that here Uh, even the microscopy and all, I'm not going to fluorescent microscopy and all, or even rodomin, or those things. Okay, that's a different thing. I'm not going to bring that here now. Now only the basic important diagnosis is culture molecular. So gene expert is one important or CBN. It's got MTP plus rifampicin resistance. We can see very simple. Okay, right. Next, huh? Now look at this question. This is another very interesting question. This is all we discuss. Please, you know, I'm so glad that. Um, thank God. Touch with that. Whoever you know read this, I'm sure. I pray God that you know you uh, you clear this exam very nicely. Look at this question. A seven-year-old child, recurrent bacterial and fungal infection. एक तो recurrent है, repeatedly infection आ रहा है. Means something congenital disease must be there. And also recurrent abscess and lump. You know, lot of uh, adenitis. You know, the lump. I don't know lymphatic adenitis or lump. I'm not sure. Something adenitis. You know, that is swelling. Something related with low inf immunity is low. That's what. And main thing is dihydrorhodamine test. Dihydrorhodamine test. Yeah, yeah. Dihydrorhodamine. So now, when I uh, uh, see whenever no recurrent absence means the problem should be something related to Staphylococcus. Staphylococcus means my clue will let us. It should be some सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट पीपल के पास कैट है दे हैव अट ओके कैट दूसरा क्या है कुछ काम नहीं करता है दे आर नाडा 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 बोलते हैं नथिंग कुछ नहीं काम करता है बट उनके पास पता है क्या क्या है दे हैव व्हाट दे हैव नाइट्रो दे हैव रोडो आई मीन देखा नाइट्रो हाइड्रो कार्स उनके पास नाइट्रो हाइड्रो कार्स इतना रिच है इमेजिन हाउ रिच दे आर दैट्स व्हाट व्हाट हैपन दे डाई विथ इन्फेक्शन दे डाई विथ ऑल दिस टाइप ऑफ इन्फेक्शन ये क्या सर ये क्या कहानी है सी जी बिकॉज दिस इज chronic granulomatous disease chronic granulo 
matters disease cg central government chronic ailment disease ho gaya okay one thing this is basically uh, excuse me these these are related to phagocytosis problem they, they have problem with the phagocytosis most of this disease phagocytosis okay now um uh, cat ka what all the catalyst positive organism will be in, in chronic realm catalyst organism uh, becoming very high that's what repeated abscess staphylococcus abscess gives us respiratory infection sab aata hai dusra nada because what is the reason nadph oxidase defect nadph oxidase defect ye bhi question aa gaya hai pichle uh, not pichle uh, few years back it the question came nadph oxidase defect okay ओके सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट स्टाफ पर कैट है दे आर नाडा कुछ काम नहीं करता है नाडा ओके नथिंग एनएपीएच ऑक्सीजन पॉजिटिव नाइट्रोफ्लूहाइड्रोर इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग बिकॉज़ ये टेस्ट है वन इज नाइट्रो ब्लू टेट्राजोलियम टेस्ट नाइट्रो ब्लू टेट्राजोलियम टेस्ट इफ यू रिमेंबर ये ये क्वेश्चन आया था एंड प्रीवियस सम एमसीक्यू में फ्यू इयर्स बिफोर सम आई डोंट नो व्हिच ईयर इन एफएमजी एग्जाम इट वाज देयर ओके नाइट्रो ब्लू टेस्ट दिस विल बी नेगेटिव ये नेगेटिव हो जाता है normally positive hona chahiye wbc staining hota hai positive hona chahiye but it will be negative here and hydro is this one hy when i say hydro it's a dihydro rhodamin test dihydro dhr dhr test here also will be less it's less positive or it is no, uh, abnormal okay so these are the two tests this all kiska aata hai central government people ka central government cg aa gaya cg that's it asc severe immune compromise this is not do that is not totally different lad and all this also related with the summer phagocytosis related diseases some with immuno immuno um, your immunoglobin related diseases but the classic one here is cgd chronic ailment disease kya hai mainly is candidate which oxidative effect so all the catalyst positive organisms will go very high like staphylococcus which cause repeated abscess uska test karne ke liye dos test hai ek nitro blue tetrasolium test hai dusra hai dihydro rhodamin test hydro rhodo dono kiska hai this is for the people who are central government people ka hai so easy this is the clue i know that i this is not a micro this is more a patho related question but this is uh, i made it very very easy for uh, not for me for you guys also central government central government soch lo you got it that's all okay next now this question this again malaria sa gaya i don't know why don't know why one topic to choose and same topic so two or three questions asked now what this question from if you see a patient pregnant uh, second trimester mein hai treatment of falciparum malaria again ek to that falciparum malaria cerebral malaria aa gaya abhi pregnant lady ko kaise treat karoge whenever it come for falciparum malaria the treat normal treatment is you know that this is dangerous so we give act that is uh, artemisinin combination therapy you know with the sulfamethoxazole at the detail in pharmacopeia study act as a therapy basically for, you have to act when chinese mao gets dangerous rum drinking guy dangerous you have to act immediately to kill the mao kill the mao rum guy mao kill the mao mao moya rods na mao mao plasmodium falciparum but pregnant lady ko it's dangerous pregnant ladies ko we have to always treat them as what queen we have to always treat them as queen pregnant ladies or like a queen so all pregnant is a queen so you treat with a queen in that's it okay act is for normal patient so it's out prima queen you know it is for killing what prima queen it kills the kills what it kills the uh, your it prevents the relapse in what ovale and vivax it kills the dormant form plasmodium ovale which is living in the liver no it lives in the liver no so it goes and kill the a uh, plasmodium ovale by vaccine the liver that's it yeah that is the work of your prima queen so ab out ab out so you know it's a queen intra very easy and also you would have scored i'm sure fixed needle syringes yes in bmw have very clearly said that i told you no one question will definitely come in all exam uh, so you have to know when the fixed needle okay disposes so fixed needle syringe so needle syringe any sharps i told you any sharps needle this is a fixed needle syringe they are saying that means the uh, syringe ke sath attached if it is a disposable syringe if it is a disposable syringe disposable syringe where it will go if it is a disposable syringe disposable it's a recyclable na disposable syringe will be recycled not the if in, in disposable syringe the needle part will go to the white container but the disposable syringe plastic wala it's a recyclable plastic so r for r so it will go to red bag this possible syringe but this is a fixed needle fixed needle make separate nahi kar sakte ho it's already a sharp attached so that's what where it will go it will go to a white color translucent this is a uh, resistance i mean this is the uh, the uh, sharp and needle resistant container okay 
puncher proof container. We also call it puncher proof. Puncher proof white container. Na? Puncher proof white container. Because if you look, a sharp needles for a sort of gray color. No? So gray to white just hai, na? gray and white almost same color. So it will go here. That's it. Okay. So this is one thing. Okay. It's fixed needle syringe is white. So it's an easy question. Okay. Yeah. Next. Uh, I am not sure about this question. Not many people said, but few, few uh, I think I saw a few doctors were saying that it was given in Duke's criteria. Duke's criteria, you know, that's for the infective endocarditis. No, infective endocarditis. How many culture bottles are done? See, you know, infective endocarditis, there are just uh, criteria. Hmm? There's like a major and minor criteria. Major and minor criteria is there. You know, the shortcut is like, uh, you know, uh, B timer, you know, B, E, B. T I M E R. I'm not going to go in detail. B for blood culture. And E for uh, E for uh, E for is basically endocarditis ka, uh, futures. Either it should be an, there should be an abscess or there should be some vegetation or some decent, you know, tear or something. So then they are major criteria. Minor criteria may all those things. You know, you know that uh osseous <coughs> load, rod spot, osseous. You know, all those things and any investigations other than the culture, you know, all, I'm not going to bring all the temperature, temperature high, immune -related, related reaction, embolic events, all those things. Okay, this medicine related, I'm not going to bring that. I'm going to, I brought it here because only things that they asked how many cultures are needed. How many cultures need? We see, this is basically Duke's criteria, infective endocarditis, whatever. We are, whenever it's infective endocarditis, we are mostly, it's like, we are treating it like a sort of sepsis only. You know, we are treating it like a sepsis only. So any sepsis means blood related, that's a blood culture. You do a blood culture only, you know. In fact, when you we treat like a blood culture. So any blood culture, what we do, we do two sets of culture. When I say two sets of culture, one is uh, before starting antibiotic. Before antibiotic, what happened? You have to do the first set. That means you have to take, you have to do two, you have to take two blood culture bottles, two blood culture bottle before antibiotics okay then after one hour whether you start antibiotics or doesn't matter after one hour this is the first set first set and now after one hour you do the second set of blood culture again there also there will be two blood culture bottles two blood culture bottles one is for aerobic and one for anaerobic and again here there will be one aerobic after that, and one anaerobic. See, there are uh, different uh, there are different criteria to for blood culture collection, but the standard one is this only. We take two blood culture first, uh, and after one hour gap, we take the second set. So that you know the, the chance of identifying the organism goes very high. You will not miss because there are some places the organism will be very less. So that's what you know. The blood culture bottle, you know that it should be five to ten uh, percentage in a uh, whatever, if you're taking 100 ml, 100 ml cultured media, whatever cultured media you're using, in that media, Castaneda, whatever you're taking, there you have to put 5 to 10 percent, it should be the sample. The sample should be, means you, in 100 ml, you're going to put 10 ml, minimum 5 to 10 ml of blood you're going to put here. So in that way, you're making one aerobic and one anaerobic, one aerobic, one anaerobic. So totally, there will be two aerobic and two anaerobic. This is from our microbiology point of view, this is the thing. But I don't know whether a question was exactly like this or what, we don't know. And there are many other criteria also. There are three sets of the people are doing three sets. But here, option I think there was no any three culture or whatever. Okay, so, there. so if it is like this, then simple is two aerobic, two anaerobic. Right? Some people say you do two aerobic and one anaerobic. But uh, I, I am not sure you have to, uh, from our, uh, whatever the books, uh, latest article, whatever I said, or what we are doing is this only two set culture. One set before antibiotics start, and other one after one hour gap, you're doing the second set of blood culture. Okay, that's it. So this for the Duke's criteria. Okay, so now, uh, finally, we have come to end. I'm sure that, uh, see, I'm really happy because uh, the last time when uh, the, the thing was came, I was a little bit, the question was a little bit, you know, a bit, uh, bit difficult in the previous uh, FMG exam. But here in this time, I'm seeing that questions were really good and happy. So um, I'm, I'm, I pray God everybody will pass and clear. And if something happens, you know, something negative, let's be prepared. Happen, don't have to worry. Don't worry. And if you think that micro is one of the difficult subjects, what you do, I assure you before your next uh, FMG exam, I'm going to make a compiled, you know, really rapid edition, concise, just two lectures where enter micro will be over and only important things, you know, which are to concentrate in a very, very easy and simple manner. So be ready. Just now, you just enjoy. Just you have worked very hard now. No, relax. Now relax. You know, take trips, sleep, do whatever you want. Don't think anything else now. Okay. 
and will think positive and everything will go positive. If not also, don't worry. You will, you will do well. I know that there is great thing in you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All the best. Uh, see you soon in uh, upcoming lectures. Okay. Thank you.